It's a sad state of affairs. My man's name is Brady. He's not going to hear what I do. I don't understand it. Have to show this but I get sick of seeing those guys, you know, who's fighting the battle of the, of the hair loss. You know this him. But then they have, they have one, they got that, what I like to call the, uh, the hairline horseshoe, the, the horseshoe hairline, you know what I'm talking about? They're like a cul-de-sac up there. Yeah, they're fucking shit a lot. <laughs> they're like you got neighbors parking cars and little kids playing hot stock and shit all along the fucking hairline. Cut that shit off. Cut it off. What are we hanging on to it for? Clearly, your hair wants out of the fucking relationship. <laughs> if your hair wants out of the, your scalp, it's safe to say that it wants out of the fucking relationship. Stop combing it over. Stop to paying that shit. No hair club for men. There are no women at the hair club for men. Stop doing that shit. Stop going to the barber, too. <laughs> Trying to get that shit edged up. And lined up and shit, right? Trying to get a haircut with half your hair missing. You know, so I know some guys go in with, <laughs> with just all this. And they go in there, that's one of the bit off the sides. Off the sides is all you got. <laughs> I can't take it off the top. You know, they want an uptown fade. You can't get an uptown fade if all your hair is downtown. That's all I'm saying. Fucking cut that shit off. Uh, fuck staplers. Have an issue with staplers. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking, well, Calvin, what is your problem with office supplies? Well, I'll tell you. Back in 2014, got colon surgery. Got a little sick, colon stopped working. I'm going to give y'all a short, condensed version of this. Colon stopped working, I had to take a foot of my colon out, right? Had the surgery and after the surgery, yeah, ooh, it's not. After the surgery, my surgeon comes in and he says to me, Cal, the surgeon, the surgery went great. There was no issues. You should be fine. You'll heal up in no time. Do you have any questions? I said, yeah, doc. I got one question. I said, my ass hurts. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what she said. Then she got used to it and she stopped saying it. I said, but my ass hurts, man. I said, what's going on with that, doc? I said, was y'all playing with my butt when I was under anesthesia? I didn't have time for that. He's in there with his nurse practitioner, the rest of his surgeons, and everybody just busts up back. He goes, no, Mr. Dinsmore. He said, well, after the surgery, we had to reattach your colon to your anus, right? He said, and the way we had to do that he said, we had to go through your rectum with a special stapler. I said, special stapler? I hope so, and not the one that you keep on your fucking desk. Special stapler. Before this surgery, I had two prostate exams and four colonoscopies. I have had more things inserted in my rectum than any straight man should ever have to fucking get to. The point that I'm getting at here is people especially the fellas, take care of your health unless you like things inserted into your rectum. 